my name is Malcolm Monroe and I'm president of Total Career Mastery. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is great performance. If you're a manager, one of your key goals is to get great performance out of your employees. Now, the key to great performance is learning how to diagnose. It's not always what you see. Diagnosis is the key. Don't ever forget that statement. So what is great performance? Well, the best way to look at it is on this model that I call the three-legged stool of great performance. Now in a three-legged stool model, and I'm not much of an artist, it looks kind of like a mushroom, in a three-legged stool model, all three legs must be in place and must be in balance, otherwise the whole thing collapses. So for great performance to happen, we need to have all three legs in place. The first leg in our three-legged stool of great performance is the leg of skill. The leg of skill means that that person knows what they're doing. They have the technical skills to be able to do it. Now, if someone has a skill problem, the only remedy that fixes skill problems is training. Training can be in classroom, they can read books, they can go online, sometimes coaching will work as training. But the only thing that fills a skill problem gap is training. Second leg of our three-legged stool is a leg of will. Now, leg of will becomes an issue when someone knows how to do the job, they just don't feel like doing it. That's a will problem. Will problem is probably one of the things that will plague you the most in a management role. Someone knows what they're supposed to do, they just don't want to do it. If training fixes skill, then discipline and motivation fixes will. I hate to say it, but there may be some times that you're going to have to punish a person. You might have to let somebody go. If they know what they're supposed to do and they do not want to do it, they have no business working for you. So this is where you're going to have to crack down. Figure out what motivates them and give them that thing, or you may have to really turn it and make it really rough. Last leg is the leg of focus. Leg of focus becomes an issue when someone knows what they are supposed to do, they want to do a good job, there's just some areas that they still need some development. This might be where mentoring is helpful. Mentoring, taking somebody and saying, listen, when we go to the big meeting, just sit quietly and watch what I do. Follow me. Mentoring can be very formal and it can be very informal. If you think about through the ages how people have learned to do their role, they just watch somebody do it. It's how parents teach their children. Watch me, both in a good way and a bad way. So if we want great performance to be in place, all three legs have to be here. All three legs need to be diagnosed correctly and of course need to be handled differently. You may find yourself doing training, you might find yourself disciplining, you might find yourself mentoring, or having somebody else do that for you. You know, as you look in your organization and you look at some of your employees, if you are running into this type of gap with your management team, you might want to think about some formal management education. It just so happens I can help you with that. If you have management teams that really don't have the skills and maybe have limited will, which will won't always be fixed by training, but certainly focus can, why not give me a call at 301-909-TCM1. You can also find me online at totalcareermastery.com and of course you can email me directly at coach at contactmycoach.com. Let me come in and take a quick assessment of what's going on and maybe we can put up some strategies to help you get through this process. All right, thanks so much for checking out the video and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.